What's up, YouTube? Coming at you today with a review of the Half Cab Skate versus the Half Cab 92. suede and then it also has this piece of stitching right here instead of on this one it's one piece there's two pieces I thought maybe it would like rip apart really bad but I'm finding it held up great most of the, all of these are like right there and everything so 92 was good for that they both came with the same insole the um, Vans pop cush, which I don't really like that much. I skate the freaking footprint insoles, the insoles you drop eggs on, bowling balls so they don't break cinder block. Yeah, no. They're actually good. I have skated footprints for years, so I'm just kind of used to them. I feel like they help with the primos. So take these out if you're having problems with them. They're okay, but I swear they're like too thick or something. And like maybe if you had a broken in pair and then you put them into the new pair, that would work. Yeah, what they want to add is skateboarding, you want explosive power. And if your insoles are too thick, you lose a little bit of that. Shout out to the cameraman. Um, next thing I want to go into is, okay, this is Zach's pair, slash, it was my pair, but they're size 11, and size 11's a little too big. When I got the 10 and a half, I swear these fit like a glove, but the only thing about them, I, I these shoes are like a couple weeks old each. I mean, they're really good. It's like my favorite shoe, but then the soles blow out like insanely fast. And when it's this thin, there's no grip. It's a little, it, I swear there's less support. And then, yeah, look at Zach's pair. Freaking, he blew all the way out. Oh yeah, and then the laces. I had to replace the laces multiple times in my pairs. Always with my front foot, not the switch foot. Where I find these shoes shine the best is ollies and flip tricks. For some reason, just the flick with these is, is worth it alone. I swear the shoe fits wider than other shoes. So some shoes, like a Nike or something, it'll be too thin and it kind of hurts your foot. This shoe is like built a little wider, I've noticed. Yeah. Some Adidas. Oh, freaking some Adidas. Definitely got thinner right there. See how it's thin right there? That's how Converse are too. If you have a wider foot, that just hurts your foot. <laughs> okay, so I feel like the ollie part is more durable than the toe. The toes, these new van skate, the toe is interesting. I find they put a lot of rubber on, on the toes of these and so that lasts, but when your bottom of the shoe blows out faster than the top, that's always super annoying for me. I'd much rather it be the other way around, you know. They still skate super good when they're super thin like this. We were talking, it has a lot of board fuel when the shoes are like blown out like that. That's like ultimate board fuel. Would you get another pair of half caps? Yeah, they're standard price. They're not too expensive. I say if you can find them on sale, for sure. It's not gonna disappoint you, that's for sure. Yeah, and they hold up alongside all the other pro shoes as well that are going for like 90, 100 bucks. Yeah, I mean, for $90, I'd be a little bit, I'm like a little disappointed because, okay, what I found to happen a lot with my Vans See the vulcanized? I don't know what type of glue they're using. That shit splitting. So I have to super glue it back together. And when it's like this, it messes with your flick. They just mostly split apart like 
where I ollie and flick tricks. Which is still super annoying. Oh, that makes me want to skate cupsles. I can't stop liking the way these look and everything too. That's the thing about vans. They they got that classic look to them. Whatever that means. It's from the 90s. It's not even that old. I'd say the 92 is worth getting versus the regulars. So you got all suede on the 92s. This is what happens when you slip the shoes on. They start splitting apart. I know tons of people that have that same problem happen. They only just barely started to happen on this pair because these are only a couple weeks old. Friggin'. It's kind of sad because they get so flat and then there's no support. And then it hurts my back. It's like, dude. Okay, so basically the van sole is made out of this bottom piece of rubber and then they got this gray piece of rubber which seems to be like that thickness and then you got a piece of fabric and then your insole and that's it so that's why these shoes have so much board feel there's really not much there okay next we got okay you would think this whole piece of suede is fully covering this piece too but no right when you rip those stitches it ends right there and you do have another piece of fabric right there and then you can see kind of that the suede is backed with rubber that's the dura cap stuff so zach kind of got into that after blowing through the suede there's rubber in there but overall these shoes, they're one of my favorite shoes to skate. They skate super well. I'd say if you have the chance, definitely get the 92, just because you get a little bit, it's a little more chunky feeling. Uh, that chunky feeling is kind of something that comes with the shoe. They're a little wider right here, so you can't like put your feet together as close with other shoes, but you get used to that and it's, it gives you some confidence, I'd say, because when the board whacks you right here, it doesn't hurt so much. Overall, the half cab is definitely one of the most classic skate shoes I'd say there is. It's definitely a shoe you gotta try. Like, I've rarely heard of anybody ever not liking a half cab. For real. Not, I've never heard of the half cab haters, but yeah, it's worth a shot. I'm gonna get another pair of them if I can. Hopefully on sale. And if anybody at Vans is watching this, definitely send me some 10 and a half. I do so many flip tricks. I mean, any shoe will do this. So it definitely has a lot of protection, I'd say. Like, it's better than like a slip on. Also, did you have to get these a size up or a size down? So I. I think it had to do with the van skate becoming different sizing. So when they transformed into this branding, when they put the little checkers instead of the van's tag, slip on pros became, I had to get size 11 and I used to skate size 10 and it's cause they're so slim. So I thought I would have to get 11s in these and they're way too big for me. That's why I had, I mean, I skated them for a bit, but then I gave them to Zach and he uh, freaking destroyed them. That's like his second pair of half cabs. He, I know he skated half cabs before, so. Most people have probably tried a half cab. My bottle just flew in here. Okay, this has been E-Tang Skates. This is my first time at reviewing a shoe. Hopefully you get gathered something from this video. The shoe is probably my favorite Vans besides slip-ons. I hope Vans never stops making these. The only thing about these shoes is the bottoms. I wish the bottoms were a little better. Like maybe if they had a fancier tread design or something, or better compound or something. I feel like I'm getting all sick of the classic Vans skate sole if you just flatten it out in a week. It's pretty annoying. Um, and then
like, comment, and subscribe. It's been E-Tank Skates, signing off. Peace.